hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is Mythical Sausage. How is everybody doing, man? I'm doing great. Hopefully you guys are doing amazing. Today we're doing this awesome wooden survival house that you see right behind me. I had so much fun making this. I'm going to show you block for block how to build this thing. Super fun. Also, if you guys want a smaller version of this, I actually made a wooden starter house about a month ago. I'm going to put a link in the description if you haven't checked that out. Also, if you see that build all the way back there behind me, I built that right before this one. And that was so much fun to make too. That is the ultimate Minecraft barn. It's amazing. I'm gonna put a link in the description. Also, check the playlist. Got about 50 114 like videos in this list. But you know what? Let's stop talking. Let's start building this house right behind me. And this is the palette we're gonna be using. We're gonna be going with some spruce logs. We're going with some dark oak stairs, dark oak slabs. We're going with some strip spruce log, some spruce planks, spruce stairs, some uh, trap doors of the spruce, my favorite trap door in the world. We're going with some oak stairs, oak slabs, oak fences, oak fence gate, some walls, lanterns, Oh, a little bit of campfire right there. Some barrels and some composters along the way. All right, and here are the dimensions we're gonna be working with right here. Everything you see outlined here with the uh, the logs sideways like that. This is just the main house right here. Outside here is our little step up to get up here. Also over here we have our little bit of crop field action over here. And then on the side is a little porch there. But we're gonna be lifting this up at least by two before we ever start anything. So from the ground, let's actually start right here with logs and let's start right in this corner so we're gonna go up right from here we're gonna go up one two three four and five right there then we're gonna give it a space of three go up one two three four and five space of three one two three four and a five just like that then I'm gonna do a little cross beam right at this edge cross beam right at this edge just like that and then we're gonna put some of our dark oak stairs right here on the bottom right there on that side here, you don't really need to put it. You're not going to see it, but I'm going to put it because I know it's there. So I'm going to put it right there just like that. Let's turn this corner one, two, three, and then let's go up by five again. Then space of three, up by five, space of three, up by five. I'm going to give it another space of three, another up by five, space of three, up again by five, space of one, two, three, up by five. And guess what? Space three, up by five. Let's go. So all the way around just like this. Then we're going to do a little beam here, little beam right there, cross beam right at this level, going all the way around just like this. And we're just going to cross beam all of these guys just like so. Then let's grab our stairs and face them down. I'm going to put them all down here like so. Cover all this up. And some of these you're never going to see, but I'm going to cover them up anyways because it's cool. So just like so. Then we're gonna do another cross beam here. We're gonna go one, two, three, and then take this up by three only. One, two, three, and then up by three only here. And again, one, two, three, up by three. One, two, three, up by three. Turn in this corner, one, two, three, yep, up by three, we got that. Then we're gonna go down by three on that one. Give it a space of three here again, up by three again. Another space of three, up by three, and just connect those blocks right there. And then filling in all these with stairs, just facing downwards on that. And that just covers everything up just like so. Perfect. So we have this all set up for now. And you know what? Leave this here just like this. Only one more thing I want to do is I want to cross that one as well. And then let's uh, let's just leave that there for now. <laughs> let's work on the main house. So next up, right here on this corner, we're going to give it a space of one and two. And right here, we're going to take this one up. One, two, three, four, five. Just for now, leave it at five. One, two, three, four, and five. Right here, we're going to cross that one as well and cross this one and put our stairs facing downwards right there. All right, now let's grab some spruce stairs. I'm going to put two here, two here, and then our slabs right there of our spruce. Now, this is going to be a cool window. Watch this. We're going to grab our strip dark oak, and we're going to go down one, two, three, one, 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 and one here. We're going to put an upside down spruce stair there, and then going to come in and texture with a little bit of spruce, just randomly scattered like that. Now, this is going to be our front door, so we're going to put one, two, three, one, two, and three sideways. Upside down stair here, and our door is going to go there, but I'm going to come back in here, give it a little bit of texture just like that. That looks pretty cool. Kind of has that log cabin uh, feel, which is really awesome. Then we're going to put another window here, and let's go all the way down like so to make it easy. Put a little stair there, right here, upside down. And then let's come in and pepper in a little bit of that spruce. That's perfect. Then let's go again. One, two, one here, one, two here, one, one, and we're going to put a stair there. 
a scatter or something like that. There we go. That looks awesome. And then I'm going to come on here. We're going to put another door. So let's do one, 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 and one here. Put a little upside down stair. And then I'm going to come in here again, pepper in a little bit. Maybe a double on that side of our uh, of the spruce. It looks pretty awesome. Then over here, I'm going to put another window. So let's go one, two, three, one, 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 and one. Put a little upside down stair. And then we can go ahead. Let's see. Let's put one here and there. That looks pretty good. Then I'm going to turn this corner and do another window. Let's go one, two, three, one, 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 and one. Upside down stair. And then I'm going to come in as pepper a little bit more, just like that. It's going to have a little bit more. Nice. I like that. Then over here, I'm just going to cover this whole thing up, just like so. And then pepper in a little bit, but no uh, window on this one. Now, for this one, we're going to put a nice fireplace going all the way up. But for now, you know what? Let's just leave that clean and open, uh, just like this, for now. You'll see. <laughs> now, let's come over here, do one more. Uh, we're gonna put another window. Let's do it just like this, like we've been doing. Let's take this one out, stair. I'm gonna pop this one over here, and this one I'm just gonna put maybe one and one up there. That looks good. All right, now for the next stage. We're gonna lift this up one more on all these logs, and we're gonna cross beam right here. Now lift this one and this one up, cross beam here, cross beam right there. Let's lift these up and let's cross beam right here and cross beam right there. Let's go back up on this side, cross beam here. We're gonna cross beam this one, lift that up. And this one also cross beam, lift it up, lift it up, cross that. And let's just do it one more time for this one and for this one. Everything's looking pretty good. Then I'm gonna put a little beam going this way. I'm gonna put a little beam going right down the middle. One going right down the middle this way. And we're going to give that little bit of support. I'm also going to drop this down so it can look a little cooler from the inside. And that lays the foundation for the next section. Now, next up, I'm going to do another little cross beam here. And we're going to go ahead and put some slabs right across. Then, you know what? Let's just put slabs all across the top really, really quickly. All right, now that we have these slabs, before we get on to the next section, let me show you the inside first. And I'm going to go ahead and put also uh, cross beams down the middle. So we're going to go like this. Also pop this up from here. Go down this way, go down this way, one this direction, one this direction, and it also the same thing we did on the top, I'm going to do it on the bottom, we're going to fill in all of this down here, and I'm going to do this real fast. All right, that's filled out now, let's come over here and fill this one out also, so we're filling this part with spruce, and this part with this spruce. Now for this one here, I'm going to put farmland, but uh, you know what, for now, let's just do it in grass, you know where farmland goes here, I'm going to fill this whole layer right on the top. All right, all set up. Now, really last little bit of detail. We're gonna go ahead and put some fences going all the way around like this on the bottom, just like so, covering all this part up. And then on the tippy tops of all these exposed logs, we're gonna put some slabs going all the way around like so. That looks pretty cool. Then we're gonna put another little set right here and another little set right there. And that is looking awesome. Now we're ready to go on to the next floor. All right, now we're ready for the second floor. Let's actually start right here in this corner. Let's go up one, two, three, and four. Give it a space to three. One, two, three, and four. Then over here, let's do the same thing we did on the bottom. Let's make a little door with our sideways right there, a little upside down stair, and a little cross beam here. Then we're gonna just mix in a little bit of the spruce for that texture. And let's go ahead and lift this up one more and one more on each side. And then I'm gonna put our little bit of fencing going around like so, just like that. Then let's turn this corner. We're going to give it uh, a little bit of a, a different look to this one, but we're still going to put this beam here. So let's do a little beam. One, two, three, and four. Give it a space of three. One, two, three, and four. We're going to cross beam here. I'm going to cross beam here, but we're also going to do a little pop out extension. So watch this. I'm going to pop this out here, pop this out here. I'm going to take this beam up again. Another one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Just like that. We're gonna put some upside down stairs of our dark oak here, put one here and one there. And then we're gonna do the same thing with it down here, but as this little pop out, just to make it look a little different. It looks pretty cool. And I'm gonna cross beam right here, put our stair on that one. Let's put that on the side and do a little bit of texture as well on that. And we got this cool little extension, which is awesome. Then let's go on this side. And here we're gonna fill this in just like we've been doing. So let's go one, two, three, one, two, one, two. Uh, here, I'm not gonna put any windows. So let's go just like that because we're gonna have our fireplace going up. So it's gonna not gonna make any sense to put any windows there. So let's do something like that as a little bit of texture right there. Then. Let's come on this side. Let's finish this up. We're going to go ahead and put our beam right here. One, two, three, four. We're going to cross beam that. Let's also seal this up. One, two, three. One, two, and three. 
I'm gonna put a door right there from this side. So let's do a little bit of texture for this. And that's gonna look cool. You will see why. Then, don't worry about this part for now. <laughs> let's turn this corner. We're gonna go one, two, and three. Right here, we're gonna go up, cross beam and cross beam right there. Now, this one, we're gonna do one, two, three. One, two, and three. I'm gonna put a little door on this side. Do a little bit of texture, just like so. And then this one, we're gonna cover up the whole entire thing, just like that, and then give it a little more texture on that side. So we have this set up pretty nicely. All right, let's start the roof. I actually started right here on this side. Let's use this as a placeholder. Let's drop this in here, just like so for now. And then we're gonna go straight down, straight up and down. But this is a good little starting point to make it easy. Now, we're gonna go with the stairs going like this, upside down and regular till we get to the center, which is right there. We're gonna put a slab on top and then come back down. Now, we're gonna do a little modification on the side here, but I'm gonna show you what to do. I'm gonna go all the way down to here. Then let's go upside down on this side. And then let's take this down to here. Now I'm gonna wrap this down. Let's get rid of this. Let's put this as just a regular block. And then it's gonna go just like so for now. Let's take it one more right there. Then from here, we're gonna go with a stair up and then drag this down and then overhang that bit. I'm gonna come in here, put a little upside down stair on that so it has a little smoother transition. Then I'm gonna get rid of this little bit right there. Okay, now watch this. Uh, let's leave that there for now. This is exciting. I love the side of that roof. Now, let's come back down here. Let's go with a stair and let's just keep going with this stair till we get all the way to the bottom until we can overhang this to that side right there. See that? That goes all the way down and it stops right at this level. Then we're gonna go all the way down like this and we're gonna continue and then drop it down right here. And then we're gonna do the same thing and go back the other way. So right here, this is that how you can tell. This roof goes all the way down to that little spot. And we're gonna keep going all the way up, just like so, until we get back to this side. And we should hit center right about now. Then we're gonna put a little upset on stair, put a little slab on top, and then come back down. And this should match perfectly with what we already have. I, I messed up twice, right there. <laughs> Perfect. So we have this cool little thing going all the way up and down, just like that. Now, isn't this cool? Now, next thing that I wanna do is, I wanna cover up this little bit right here so you don't see it. So to do that, I'm just gonna go with strip. One, two, three, one and two, and one right there. Let's go, one, two, three, one and two, and then one right there. And if you wanna texture, you can. Just give it a little bit of sprinkle right there, a little sprinkle job, and that should end right at that spot. Then we're gonna do a little bit of detail work and we're gonna paint this a nice little window. But before we get to that window, I wanna grab some logs. I'm gonna go with the logs, I'm gonna go right here. So put a log right here on the side of every one of these stairs. We're getting logs going up like this. Except for these three. These three, I'm gonna grab some barrels and it's just for looks, but it looks really awesome. I'm gonna go like that. Here, I'm gonna put a full block. There we go. So you don't need that. Or you could put another barrel if you like. It really doesn't matter. Then we're gonna go back down like so. And this stops right here at that log we already had placed, right? Isn't that cool? Then we're gonna come back on this side and do the same thing here. So I'm gonna put it right on that spot. You see that right there? I'm gonna put it as a placeholder, put another one. And then I'll put a placeholder and another one. Get rid of those. So right here, placeholder and another one. So this goes all the way back this direction. And that's looking really, really cool. So this part's easy. We're gonna go oak right here, right here, right there. Then we got slabs and we're gonna run those slabs down the middle like that. Then here, we're gonna go one, two, three and four, one, two, three, and four. And then this comes back down the other way. And we have this side pretty much set. Only thing we wanna do on top here is put some of the slabs of our dark oak and let's run this all the way top to bottom like that. And let's also run it up right here. And then this one right to there for now. Then this one needs it too. So actually let's get rid of these. We're gonna go one and then we're gonna put our barrels here. So barrel, barrel, barrel and barrel. Actually, not that one. <laughs> and then we're gonna go up one. And then this is gonna go ahead and seal up on that side. Also, we're gonna put one in the center. So this is gonna go right here. And then that goes back down this direction. Go so bam. Oh, I, I fell. So we take this one down all the way again. We're gonna mirror pretty much what we did on the other side. Slabs all the way on top, like so. That is looking awesome. Look at it from here. Let's look at it from this side. Oh, that looks so cool. And then this side. Now, we're gonna work on this big extension right here on this side. So the first step I wanna do is put some stairs. So a stair here and a stair sideways here. We're gonna go with a stair here, stair sideways here. We're gonna grab a little bit of grass. We're gonna do a little flower box right there. 
Now, I'm going to put some logs right here. Let's go one, two, and three. Give it a space of three. One, two, and three. Just like that. Then in the middle here, we're going to do pretty much what we've been doing the whole time. Let's go with our logs going sideways. Take these out. Let's put a stair here. A little bit of texture again. Bam, bam. Perfect. There we go. Then, actually, you know what? Let's do this. Let's put a stair right here from uh, Dark Oak. One upside down on that. Upside down on that one. Then we're going to go stair this way. Stair this way. Upside downs here. Stair here and here. One in the middle. And let's put a slab on top just like so. Then let's grab another little bit of log action. Let's put one here and there. And here we can, we're not going to really see it, so I'm just going to double that up. And then I'm going to go with slabs here, 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 and there. All the way down, just like so. That's looking pretty cool. Then let's go with a stair right here. A stair here. Actually, I'm going to take stairs going all the way up, like so, on the corner. Let's do it again on this side. So stair, 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 all the way up till we get to, um, excuse me, put it back. Uh, and then stairs till we get all the way to the top, just like that. Then on this one, I'm going to put a little upside down stair right about there, a little upside down stair right about here. And then this is pretty much going to look like so. This one's going to pretty much twist and go into that. This one's pretty much going to twist and go into that. This one's going to come on this way and curve here. This one's going to come on this way and curve there. And then this one's just going to go right in the back, right in the back here. And then this guy is going to just pretty much just go all the way down like so. Look how cool. And now we're just going to drop some trap doors right here. And that is our little flower box. Also, little things you could do around here is add a little bit of trap doors right here and here. And it's a little shutter action whenever we put our windows around here. That's pretty cool. I'm going to put maybe another one on this side. Maybe one here. This one's not going to have any. This one can have one on this side. And we can put maybe one more on that side. Now, let's do the little roof on this bit. And this one is one of the simpler roofs. I'm just going to go straight down right here, right at this line, right there with our dark oak. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. So going all the way down like so. Upside down stairs. Then we're going to go with our regular stairs forward. Upside downs on both sides. Back around the regular rail. Way, right there and then we're gonna go with our slab right there and then the rest is pretty much covering this up in our oak from one side to the next we're gonna have a little spot right here this looks pretty cool and then this goes all the way back to the end now for this one we're gonna bring back our barrels and this is super simple let's go underneath here let's drop the uh, shift click it boom and boom all right now we're going to work on a little chimney action now for this one let's just cover this whole thing up right here in a mixture of either cobble or regular stone right here on the side boom just like that in this corner then we're going to go straight into the ground here so let's just start right here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then we're going to put a stair right there and it could be any combination we can come back here and do a little bit of texture if you want just like that then I'm going to come up here and go up one, two, three, and we're going to go up one, two, three, four. I'm going to put a stair sideways like, oh, actually, let's take it up one more. There we go. And meeting up right here at this log, I'm going to put a stair sideways right there. I'm going to put another stair here. I'm going to take this one up again, another one and two, put a stair here. We're going to put a stair sideways on that one. We're also going to take one more up, put a stair sideways here. We're going to put a stair right there on this side. Just like so. Actually, we don't really need that one. We can take that piece off. And then let's do a little bit more texture. Just like so. And then let's come inside right there. I'm going to take this up another. One, two, three, and four. Let's go five. I'm going to put a campfire on top and our trap doors all the way around. And we have ourselves a nice little chimney fireplace action. And it's looking pretty cool. Just like that. And then maybe add a little bit more variation on the blocks. Like that. You can come in, put a little bit of andesite, put a little bit of mossy. But that's it. That is your fireplace right there. Isn't that cool? I love that. All right. Now we're going for the extra details. We're going to put some buttons on those exposed log pieces. We're going to be adding some flower boxes. I'm going to go with a three on that one. I'm going to trap door all the way around like so. And I'm going to put some slabs underneath like that. Then I'm going to also add one on this side. We're going to go with a small flower box right here. Just one in the center. I'm going to put a slab on the butt. No, nope, slab on the bottom. And then trap doors all the way around like so. And then over here, we can add another one. I'm going to go with a single one in the middle. And again, trap doors all the way around like so. And a slab underneath right there. 
Then another little bit of detail come with me all the way on this side. I want to add right here. Let's do a little pop out log, pop out, and a pop out. Put some upside down stairs underneath. And this just adds just a little bit more detail. You don't need to do that part. I think it looks cool and adds just a little more. And then we got a little pop out right here. So we're going to go with the log out. One, two, and I think that's, um, that's good. And then I'm going to put a fence gate here. We're gonna put a fence here and we're gonna drop down a lantern right underneath that. It gives us a nice little light fixture as you come on in and it's looking pretty cool. On this one, I got actually a trap door and that looks really awesome, but that is pretty much almost all there is to it. The only last little bits here, let's put some composters. Let's add some bushes, whichever one you want. And I'm gonna go with a single one on top. Down here on the bottom, we can go ahead and add more details by putting maybe a little bit of a spruce. A spruce. I almost lisp. Ashley did lisp. That's fine. A little bit of a spruce path going down this direction. It just adds more detail. If you want it, you don't need to, but that's fine. Maybe a little bit of a path this way. You can even make it a little bit bigger. If anything, you can always run it down, put a little bit of a course dirt, a little bit of trap door, and that adds even more. But for now, I think that is pretty 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 good right there now that right there is the build we're done we finished it it looks really really awesome now to add more details i'm going to give you a little bit of inspiration we're going to go inside i'm going to give you some interior inspiration too you can do really anything you want on the inside on the outside hopefully you guys did enjoy this though this was so much fun to make but as far as like outside details your path your texturing uh go crazy on the flooring on the terraforming uh make sure your crops are nice and filled up looking really nice like that i added some stuff like barrels and lanterns a little bit of seat action here on the side and it looks really really cool some bushes up against the walls right here some more barrels and more fire wood right there on the side looks pretty pretty good now on the inside let's go inside i can show you what we got in store here uh, as we come on in boom we're greeted by a lovely little kitchen here on the side everything you need in survival we got a little spot for potion making we got ourselves a nice little water uh right there with some cauldron action so a little loom sideways looks like an empty shelf and some barrels crafting bench looking awesome our nice little uh brewing stand on the top fireplace right here roaring doing its thing but you know what you can actually do one thing which is really really cool i'm gonna put it right here down on the bottom we can go ahead and make a little section here for a smoker and that's just perfect for cooking we could just drop your stuff right inside and that's super awesome i love that thing you can even sneak in a couple more on the edges and you have yourself a triple smoker or you could put blast furnace and furnaces on each side and you can actually use this it can actually serve a purpose right there which is really really cool then on this side we have ourselves a nice little seating area which looks awesome some scaffold with a carpet on top seats all the way around here a little composter with a bush on one side hanging light in the center and this is a very open feel so i didn't separate these rooms too much now over here we have a nice little shelving unit which i love look at that real cool then this part right here as you come on in we have this little spot it's like a little office space which is really awesome a little seat on the side some barrels a little reading area right there but check this out we got a ladder so to save space we don't have a stair to get up we have a simple ladder that goes right in the center right here and we're gonna go up to the next section now this is really small space over here so i made this into almost like a little library a little nook area we have ourselves a nice little lectern and then over here we got some barrels for storage maybe you're storing some books and stuff like that but this is the small little roof that's on that pop out but then we have this part over here which is awesome this is the second floor we have ourselves a nice little area a little workstation over here i decided to put a window here you I, you don't need it but it kind of looks kind of cool right we have an indoor window i don't know that's pretty awesome i kind of like the way that looks over here we have a little recessed in wall because the fireplace is on the other side so we can kind of break this little part off and we can put some stuff so I put a barrel and a plant a little painting and a lantern on top over here bunk beds why not you and your friend can hang out chill put little barrels on the side a little ladder to get up and it's perfect right here uh, have a nice little shelving unit and then over here we have a little lofty area with slabs and trap doors as we get up to the tippy top got extra storage here you can maybe do another bedroom if you want over here if you have more friends that are living in the same house or you can put really anything up here uh, brewing anything little library whatever you want then have a little balcony goes out to the outside looking pretty cool look at that thing and then over here we have ourselves our little storage area this is small storage but you can fit a lot of stuff we got some barrels on the top we got chest on the side and barrels on the bottom and you can go and change this as you see fit add whatever you want hopefully just just a little inspiration but you guys can modify add take away do anything you want 
make it yours, make it your own, and and or take away stuff. <laughs> so let me know what you guys think. This was so much fun to make though. If you guys do remake this, send me pictures. Send me on Twitter. Send me on Discord. Send me pictures of your builds. I love seeing them. You guys are amazing. You guys are always remaking stuff. Some of them block for block. Some of them just inspiration and going off into doing some crazy stuff. You guys are awesome. And you guys been you guys been killing it really lately with the uh, the remakes on these builds. But I'm out of here for now. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you guys want to see on the next tutorial or let's play or anything. Let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see and I'll make them. But I'm out of here for now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next Minecraft video. Goodbye. Take this with you and this one and this. Wait, actually, that's all I had on me.